Hey YouTube, I uh, thought I'd give you a, a rundown on uh, seven wheels. So, let's start with E+. Plus. Now for me, electric unicycles really began with this here. Um, I uh, learned how to ride riding this wheel. I put 700 miles on it before I got another. And uh, by the time I'd done that, most of that riding was with my dogs. And it just seemed like it was time to get something good. And 700 miles on me, I thought, okay, I'm ready. And I got this uh, MSX 100 volts. MSX 100 volts uh, back in 2017. This year's, these are five years old. Um, and I've had perfect luck with these two wheels too. So I haven't had to have... The, the biggest issue I had with this MSX was... Uh, trying to fix its tire um, so it um, with with this uh, well so this is a Shinko 244 and you can see I've shaved off all the knobs here um, when I first put it on I started with a knobby a pure knobby two and a half inch wide it fit great and that was really wonderful for uh, trails and stuff like that but after uh, after winter was over and uh, I was doing a little more cruise and I came up with the seat. I think Marty was the first one to invent the spring with hose clamps on here. I went double decker to level it out and that worked pretty good for me. Um, and then um, I did too many uh, curb jump or yeah, curb drops and uh, jumping over speed bumps. They have the little ones in Syracuse and uh, Anyway, my ankles got really sore, and uh, I, I actually put these new pedals on it here not too long ago, too. Um, so I, you know, I, I became convinced I had to have a suspended wheel, and so that's how I got to the S18. The S18 is anemic. I mean, compared to the MSX, this thing is so underpowered, but I wasn't concerned about that. I was doing a lot of grass, a lot of trails with the dogs. And a uh, big mod on this one was, uh, that's all that's left of the fender right there. You can see a little bit on the front side here. I have it on a side stand, so it's not real stable right now. And holy shit, I just noticed this bushing just now. Um, so no wonder my slider sucks so bad, huh? That actually moves not bad, but uh, I'll have to see if I can push that back in. Um, that's a surprise. Anyway, um... I, I put the Kenda 244 tire on it, and that's what necessitated taking the fenders off. And when the battery fell, the rear battery pack in, in particular, uh, that's when it became necessary to um, to uh, uh, take it all apart a few times, put it all back together. Um, I did buy a spare controller for it because... Uh, one of the times the plug got yanked out of it and the center post in there got busted off, but it still works. So I haven't gotten around to changing the controller board. I do have a spare for it. Um, and uh, let's see. Yeah, that bushing's still in on this side, see? Um, anyway, um, I had, like, like I said, I had trouble with that wheel, um, keeping it running with the batteries. Uh, First thing that happened was the controller failed and the sliders have been for shit. I have all these bolts here and this one back here and this one loose. Um, yeah, I, the hockey pucks double like a kickstand. I like that. So I brought that forward to my S22. And the S22, this S22 has about 700 miles on the chassis. That's the motor and the chassis, right? But the controller's on the fourth controller. I just put the fourth one on today and it worked. Thank God. Um, oh, I, I came up with a little uh, rigging so I don't have to stick my hand in there. This actually screws in. Um, it's just an extension cord about three feet long. And I glued it on here to bring it over and back and forth here and up around. And now I just plug it in up here. I lined the detent to the top so that I easy plug that in. Um, so I've done 40.1 miles an hour on this wheel. I did 35 on that when I first got it, when I still had a road tire on it. Um, 
and then when I got the so I didn't try much road commuting uh, until I got the S22 the S18 is just underpowered for it and I am getting better at dealing with traffic down here in Maryland um, and acting like a bicycle and getting the heck out of the way um, so I've gotten a little more used to the roads now so when the S22 failed after 300 miles the first time so from February to March I put about 300 miles on it uh, then it was out from March April May June I got it going at the very end of July and then it um, and in the meantime I had another one just like it from e-wheels that uh, never never uh, made it past the first charge and in fact the three other con the three controllers all failed while charging and I thank God they didn't fail at speed anyway um, I, I really like the seat set up on here. It's a good grab point. It, you know, I'm low enough to the ground so that that works for a trolley handle for me. And uh, then the front guard I tried putting hockey pucks in. I need to redo this now because that's all loose. But um, I uh, started working with what can I do for the seat and these things. And I finally got that figured out. I have uh, 23 inches from the ground of the seat and then the seat is 32 inches up off the ground so back in late July I got it rolling again and I rode it until the end of September got it up to about 500 miles uh, total on the chassis and now it's been back up for uh, today so I was wrong I don't have 700 miles I have a little over 500 on the chassis and uh, Earlier this week, the Bagode Master arrived. So I mentioned that I had a second one of these from uh, E-Wheels purchase. This one here actually came from Alien Rides in their February, uh, arrived in March, auction to benefit Ukraine. Um, but when the E-Wheels came in, didn't charge, I couldn't get either of them working. I managed to get uh, the one that belonged to E-Wheels shipped back to E-Wheels. And then when that one came back in, they had the statter slip issue. And uh, I said, yeah, I've had enough with the King Song failures. And uh, just give me a master. So that's how I got the master. It just arrived last week, Tuesday. Um, let's see, more to say about the King Song. So this morning, uh, or yesterday, a new controller, Friday, a new controller came for the, uh, oh, yeah, <laughs> sliders. What a mess. And the and the pinning of the motor. So the last controller failed, said it was a hall sensor failure. And that's uh, indicative of the stator slip. So I took the motor apart in the meantime. And uh, I asked uh, Alien Rides for a controller. Uh, they still haven't come up with one. I decided to go ahead and purchase my controller number four from E-Wheels. Because uh, they had some 300 bucks and I'm, ro I'm riding it again. So for me the time riding is worth the cost and I'll have a spare because uh... Hi Lisa Say hi to the video. We're recording a review of the wheels you say what? We're reviewing the wheels Oh, okay. Yep, so I'm still talking about this one. So with oh, the motor okay. all Yes, these are electric unicycles. Oh, okay. Are you selling them? No, just uh, talking about them on YouTube. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have a nice day. You too. So, uh, let's see. That's my neighbor. She's nice. Um, so, with the motor all apart, I uh, pulled the temperature sensor, that black wire that goes off to the right on the top of the wheel inside the stator, it turned out that's a temperature sensor. I measured it about 10k ohms. I beeped out the rest of the hall sensor cable, convinced myself that that was all okay. And I uh, drilled uh, four holes in for the stator slip on two sides each and uh, tapped and mounted the five millimeter um, set screws with eight, eight millimeter length. And uh, when I got it all back together this, yesterday, 
I must not have had the controller down tight enough and I had a, a roller solution to make the, the suspension work real nice and boy did it when I had when I had it together before I turned it on it bounced up and down and that was great now I have a, a 350 pound spring on here which is just right when the sliders work but they just don't slide very good um, once I do get them sliding and I did just now order EV's um, slider kit CNC aluminum so it should work and once I do that I'll dial in the compression and the rebound but until then compression and rebound are just absolutely useless um, they just make it harder like harder to compress and slower to come up and they you know it just sticks more and so what a god awful mess the sliders are there is a, an, a height adjustment here um, I just have it any old place when I was putting it together because uh, the sliders stick but when I get the the rollers in nice I'll have it in the highest position uh, that doesn't have too bad of an effect on uh, ground ground clearance or pedal height um, you can see these two are about the same on pedal height that one's a little lower let's see if I can fold that out yeah that one's a little lower and then that one is the lowest and I haven't yet talked about these three wheels but uh boy what fun the little wheels can be too um, that's an A1, that's a M103, and like I started, that's an E+. Plus. So, uh, this morning I found a real nice tight-fitting screwdriver to fit into the eight holes in the controller. And, oh yeah, I got a beeper switch here. So that's beep normal, and that's shut the beeper off. This one, I found the beeper on the bottom of the board, and I twisted it off with a pair of pliers, so that one can't beep. And this one still beeps, but it's just not quite as annoying as the King songs that want to beep for every little thing. Ugh, beepers. Anyway, uh, yeah, the the master isn't such a beep freak. Um, and it did let me, in the app, turn down the volume of the beep. And I still got a beep happening at about 20 miles an hour. And I haven't figured out how to disable that. It's like a speed alarm, but it's not there. I have all my speed alarms disabled on on basically all these wheels because uh, uh, the King Songs will tilt back. This one, if I made it to 42, I'd be pushing so much wind that I would know better. And I don't push the, uh, the smaller batteries up against my power limits. Uh, not inclined to do that. And I now with the Master... The master is the most powerful of these wheels, and it gives a nice sense of confidence. Um, I don't have my, and these I need to bring back up, I think. But this one, my, my leg contacts way up here on the wheel, whereas this one I'm down here, and it, it's closer to the pedals. And so I haven't uh, gotten as good at managing the wobbles with uh, the master yet. So far, I've... Uh, kept it under 35 and most rides I keep it under 30. Oh, and I call it a top heavy wheel and I, you know, jump off, grab it by the cheek while I'm riding with the dogs here and it falls over anyway. So, I found out okay, the the this is the uh lift switch and it's a double push to to put it in lift mode. And then this you can leave like this all the time, and since the, these pads stick out here so wide, uh, that doesn't interfere with my riding at all. Although on the King Song, I should say, if I had the, the handle up like that, it just totally sucks. Uh, it's right in a knee position. And oh, by the way, that trolley handle's useless because it's um, too far forward. I can spin it around and wheel the wheel backwards, but no, nah, I find it much better to... Uh, just grab hold of the seat and this seat even lets you grab like in a handle position here um, so I I pretty sure I want to put a seat just like that onto the master uh, until then I'm riding with the handle up here so that I can grab it when I jump off especially if I have dogs with me or something like that um, and I wonder if my tire is out of balance or Maybe it's, uh, oh gee, yeah, maybe that is squashed in there wrong. Um, I just now noticing 
but yeah it looks like maybe it's uh real close to the rim here and further away down there that's got to be my problem okay i was complaining about it being bouncy wheel and no wonder it's bouncy that tire's just not beaded center on that i did have that same issue with uh, uh s18 when i began when i put the kind of 262 onto the s18 i had to like flatten it hold it with uh, one hand like this the knee on the other side of the tire and then uh, hit the play button on the pump to pump up the tire at that moment and that worked um, and uh, so it's not like I've never found the felt the bounce 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 before um, should have guessed it was the tire um, so let's talk about little wheels after the after S22s um, I decided to go ahead and get an M103. And the M103 is so tiny and you're so it hits you so far down on the shin that I don't really have any confidence with it over 15. It'll go 25. Um, but it, you know, it is a good training wheel and I'm just now, after five years riding, figuring out how to ride backwards thanks to the M103. The nice thing about the M103 is it's so small and nimble. You can ride it all around the house, the living room, and I have a like a little hallway between the bedrooms and the living room, bathroom, and so I can ride up to the mirror and then back off the mirror as long as I keep enough speed commitment. Um, I'm starting to manage to ride backwards. Now this uh, this is an A1. That wheel only goes eight miles an hour. E plus goes 12. I didn't know it only went eight when I got it, and I saw it on eBay for 350 bucks, and I snatched it up. There was a, about a dozen of them for sale at the time, and it's a good starter trainer wheel, and it kind of looks nice because it's new and newish looking. And um, anyway, if uh, I, I have taught a couple people to ride, and if they want a starter wheel, I'd part with it for 400 bucks, and I'd buy it back for 400 bucks if they don't want it. Um, so, there you go. There's my my wheel review. <laughs> Keep it wheel, man. All right.